we're at the Southeast Agriculture Research and Extension Center. Behind me is a whole high tunnel full of determinant round red slicers. And what we're looking at here is leaf mold. Leaf mold has been one of our biggest problems for a number of years. And uh, trying to evaluate which varieties do best under leaf mold has been the challenge for many growers. We've got BHN 589 in here as our standard. And 589 has been one of our workhorses for a number of years. We love the way it produces, but it has proven to be relatively sensitive to leaf mold. So it is more or less of our indicator variety in here. And then we've got 19 other varieties that we're looking at all the production characteristics, the size of the tomato. Um, we're actually doing a tasting here today as well, bricks levels. But what we've done is two weeks ago, we came in and we sprayed leaf mold on. We bred it in the lab, we sprayed it on, and now we're looking to bloom leaf mold in here so we can evaluate which varieties are most susceptible and or resistant to it. The reason for that is we've got virtually no fungicides. If you look in the Mid-Atlantic Vegetable Guide, it has catamaran and Revis Top, of which Revis Top is the one that's most commonly available. And that doesn't give us a whole lot of options for leaf mold control. We tell growers to remove the leaves below the lowest fruiting cluster. We tell them to increase ventilation. We know those things help. But managing leaf mold is a problem in high tunnels, and we're looking to see how we can better manage that through varieties.